<laughs> Hello, welcome to the Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm going to be giving you the roundup of all the latest Manchester United news for this week and also what we are meant to be looking forward to next week because Eritrean's future is meant to be announced at least before when I say this week. And also, Bruno might leave Manchester United. More details on that. And also, our summer transfer priorities. Which player are we looking to sign? What positions are we looking to sign players in? But let's get straight into everything. We have so much to talk about. According to Fabrizio Romano, he said, Eretan Hag and his agents are still waiting on formal communications from United to understand the club's position. Now, it's entering into the final stages of the decision on the future of United's managerial situation. Um, so this is all we're getting from Fabrizio Romano concerning Eretan Hag and his future. It is meant to be announced very, very soon. Uh, we have been waiting for almost how many, it has been a week since we won the FA Cup, and uh, the FA Cup, and still no clarity on Etihad and his future. And, um, this is affecting lots of things happening, at, happening at the club because we can't really sign players or sell any players without knowing what is the future of the manager. Because of course, if you are signing a new player and you don't know who is going to replace Etihad, you are going to sack him. How would you, um, offer your project to the, um, to the player when you don't know who, who the manager is going to be. So, El Dan's future is meant to be clarified very, very soon. And so, Bruno Fernandez says, also from Fabrizio Mano, he says, Bruno Fernandez will make his final decision on his future once he understands the project and what happens with the manager. So, if after the future is clarified, um, Bruno Fernandez is likely to decide if he's going to stay or if, he, or if he's going to leave. But also from Fabrizio Mano, he said, Bruno Fernandez agent Miguel Pinho has met with several top clubs around Europe this week. Bruno remains fully focused on United. The final decision on his future is yet to be done. And this is because Bruno is coming to the end of his um, career. He, he, he probably wants to win um, real trophies, wants to win the, a league trophy, uh, wants to win uh, the Champions League. And he might be looking like he might not be able to win that at United. And if the manager is going to be sacked, that means the project starts from, start anew. Starts from fresh. Start from zero percent. Will, will Bruno Fernandez want to be part of a new project or will he rather be in a project with Ayrton Hag and continue winning trophies at the club? He already has two in two years. So if they sack Ten Hag, there's a chance that Bruno Fernandez might decide to leave. Um, because he, he probably doesn't want to be part of a totally new project with so much uncertainties at the club. But let's see. Um, once Ayrton Hag's future is clarified, Bruno Fernandez's future will also be clarified. And also, to some transfer priorities of United, this was reported earlier by the Manchester event, Evening News. It says, um, My United have prioritized three significant signings, a centre-back, a midfielder, and a forward, with any other incomings funded by planned, planned outgoings. That means, the three most important positions that we're going to sign is a center back, a midfielder, and a forward. Fan is leaving, we'll get a replacement. Um, Casimiro might leave, we'll get a replacement. And we also need, replace, um, Marshall is leaving, we also need another striker to replace him. And any other player, maybe a second center back, a second midfielder, will be funded by players that we are able to sell. And he also said, some United ta- transfer targets are unsure if the club will advance with their interests. Amid uncertainty over a Ten Hag's future. For example, we want to sign Mikel Olise. If you are talking to the player and he doesn't and know who don't... is going to be our manager, will that make that deal stall or will he make the deal progress? That is a question we have to ask ourselves. Because when you are, when you are presenting your projects to a new player, the manager has to be part of that project. So if there is too much uncertainty behind the manager, what exactly happens to our transfer targets? When we have no manager that we're going to, when we don't know what the future is going to be, uh, with the manager. So most of this team is being tied up to Eric Hag's future. And to some transfer talks, um, players are being linked with, um, starting with, um, Gerald Brightweight, a center back who are looking to use to replace, Mat- um, Rafael Varane. And he says, um, Gerald Brightweight is a summer transfer target for United, but ever since asking price is around 75 million pounds. And could be, and this could be a stumbling block. United are looking to add at least one centre back to their squad during the summer transfer window. 
like he says, one of our priorities is a centre back, and Gerard Brightweight, um, Jinkler Tudibo, and some other players are linked to that position. Gerard Brightweight is going to cost us around seventy million pounds right here, right now. Man United are not going to pay such money for any centre back, so it is highly unlikely we will sign him, or, or else um, Everton brings down their asking price. Jinkler Tudibo is going to cost around forty million pounds. He's older than Jared Brightweight. He's more experienced than Jared Brightweight. And in terms of European football, he's highly rated even over Jared Brightweight. Jared Brightweight is like a future star. You know, he has potential. He can develop. He can improve. But Tudibo is a little bit older, but still has um, a lot of improvement in him also. But he's way cheaper. And that would be a no-brainer. Instead of spending 70 million on Jared Brightweight, he can spend 40 million on Jean Claire Tudibo, who is also, um, playing for Nice, which is owned by Sergeant Macliffe, which means if you want to sign Jean Claire Tudibo from Nice, it will be way much easier to get that deal done. Talking about centre back, um, uh, links, we're also being linked to Chelsea's player, Trevor Chaluba, um, and he says, um, ideally, um, Ch- um Trevor Chaluba ideally doesn't want to leave Chelsea, but with United, with but with Chelsea's depth at centre back, Enzo Maraska, Enzo Maraska, the new uh, the new manager, could look to move on one or two defenders. Um, Chaluba will only will only move to a club with the right offer and European football. We have European football who can definitely pay his wages, but will Chelsea sell him to us? Do I even want him to at, at United? I don't think so. But we are being linked to him, and you can take that with a pinch of salt. I don't think there's any concrete interest from us for Chaluba. Especially if Ten Hag stays, I don't think we'll go for him. But anything can happen. Let's see about that. So, yes, my are being linked with Trevor Chaluba of Chelsea. And also, in terms of outgoings, United will entertain offers for Aaron Wabisaka this summer. And as we are previously interested in him. Um. If we were able to sell Aaron Wambisaka, that means we have to get a replacement for him. Someone like Jeremy Frimpong has always been of huge interest to United. So if Wambisaka leaves, maybe we might explore the Frimpong deal. But maybe it might be too much for us to do. And because we have so many players to sell, we have so many players to buy, we have many positions to fill in. And in terms of priority, is it really urgent to get a new right back? I don't think so. So for me, I think, um, I think Wampisaka probably will stay, but I also think that he wants regular first in football. And as United, Dalo is the first choice. That is already secured. Is the first choice. But if a good deal comes for Wampisaka, if he pushes for an exit, then we might look at signing him. We might look at signing him and getting someone else to replace him. But like it says, Saudi Pro uh, League Club, um, Al Nassar, which Ronaldo plays for also. Are interested in Aaron Wambisaka. Let's see what happens with that. And earlier this week, it was rep- earlier last week, it was reported that um, there's going to the, um, United are close to agreeing a swap deal for Joao Felix uh, with for Joao Felix um, and then Greenwood um, to, Greenwood coming to going to Atletico Madrid and Felix coming to United, right? But um, according to the report, it says. Um, Joao Felix um, is either either wants to move to Baka or become permanent or be loaned out again by Atletico Madrid. Um, it says first and foremost, Joao Felix wants to stay at Barcelona um, and he doesn't want to go anywhere else. So the links with um, United swapping Felix for Greenwood is all false, and um, that's not going to happen. But of course, missing Greenwood is highly highly linked to clubs like Napoli, Atletico Madrid. Barcelona, Gatafe, and some other clubs. So, um, we would expect a news concerning, um, Greenwood and his future very, 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 very soon. In the next two, one or two weeks, we might have a concrete update on Greenwood and his future because that deal is meant to happen very fast because he needs to know where he's going to, um, come to immediately after his holiday, right? Precision training is going to resume in July. And the June, June is already here, so he might probably be on holiday for the next one or two, three weeks. I don't know. Um, but when it, the, when the ending of June comes closer, he probably wants to know where he wants to 
where he's going to play at next season. So that deal might happen very, very soon. Let's watch out and see what happens with that. And so other transfer news in terms of outgoings, it says United wants around 50 million euros for Casemiro, but Saudi clubs who, contrary to popular belief, don't go crazy with transfer fees. And they are looking towards a 30 million um euro deal plus adds on. So Saudi, Saudi pro clubs doesn't want to pay 50 million euro hacking price from United. They want to pay something closer to 30 plus adds on. Um, they don't want to overpay for him. They, of course, they really, really like him. Um, but there's no concrete news that Casimir would like to move to a Saudi pro league club. And, um, it's like, I, don't, I think it's like 70, 30 Casimir goes or stays at United. But let's see. It's sell to buy for us. We have to sell players to buy players. And if Casimir will be one of the outgoings, that means we have to sign a competent replacement for him. Someone who can complement could be minor in the midfield. And that would be a challenge to these guys running the club now, which, which is Ineos, to get, if we are selling a world-class defensive midfielder, we need, to, we need two, we need one more already. But if we're going to sell Casimiro, that means we need two. And that if we'll be, if we'll be able to get two, we'll get one. So we need one who is competent, who knows his job, um, who, um, is not injury prone, who's going to be available for as many games as possible. Because if that player, if Casimiro leaves, and that player comes in and doesn't play lots of games, we'll be back to where we are last two years, crying about, oh, we need this, we need a defensive midfielder, oh, we don't have one, oh, what are, what are we going to do, oh, our defense is so leaky, oh, there's no, no worker in that defense. So that would be a problem for the Inos group to solve. And earlier this week, uh, it was reported that United and Chelsea are the two clubs interested in Mikel Olise. Of course, you know that. United are more advanced at the moment, but Chelsea did try to do a deal last summer so they know the conditions as well. And um, it also said, given a straight choice between United and Chelsea, the player will prefer Manchester United. We all know that Man United want to sign Mikel Olise even when he destroys us a um, few weeks back, right? We knew that he wanted to come. We knew that United, United were interested in him. And the reports where he is interested in coming to United. But Chelsea just stole a deal for Tosin, a form, form defender Tosin. Newcastle were very, very close to that deal. Chelsea came in and stole that deal from Newcastle and he's going to go to Chelsea. You have a year we go from Fabrizio Romano. So if United sit, sleep on this deal, um, Chelsea might be able to easily convince Mikel Olisier to come to, um, the Stamford Bridge and we'll lose that on that deal. So, first of first things first, we need the future of Ten Hag to be sorted out very soon. If it gets sorted out, then we can definitely move on to other targets, our transfer targets, selling, buying, and all of those stuff. So, we need that to move on very, very quickly. And from other news, we also have United being linked with some other players. It is reported, take this, take this with a pinch of salt. Take this with a pinch of salt. But it says United are high on West Ham winger Mohamed Kudus, but face competition from Liverpool, who could be in for a replacement for Mosala should he leave. Are United going to sign Mohamed Kudus? I don't think so, but I'm going to bring it to you because that is what is being reported. I'm here to bring you the news, and we are here to discuss about the news, whether true or false. But of course, that's probably false. And also, we are being linked with Wolves striker Matthias Kunha. He says that move striker Matthew Skuna is said to be high on United's list this summer. Scouts consistently trout Kuna all over the course of the season as they look to replace the outgoing Anthony Marshall. And Wolves will look to resist any attempt to, si- to sign to sell Matthew Skuna, but United are prepared to offer him double of his current 60,000 a week wages. This maybe you have, maybe there's an interest in him because we need a new second striker to Rasmus Hoyland. And we have also been linked to Bright, Brentford striker Ivan Tony. Mighty Skunha wouldn't be a bad option either. But let's see what happens with that. I'll take this also with a pinch of salt because, you know, United, United get linked with as many players as possible. But that's what happens. But the main thing is, yeah, is that the future of Victor Hag is the main thing right here, right now. When we get that sorted out, we'll get also the future of Bruno Fernandes also. 
and then we can now talk about ingoings, outgoings, and all of that stuff. But this was everything that came out last week, and like I said, we we'll look forward to more news coming out next week. Hopefully, the hack stays. Hopefully, Inno does the writing. I don't know why their so-called review is taking so much time. They have been at the club since the early since early this year, and they should have done their review um since a long time ago. The FA Cup final shouldn't be a shouldn't be the reason why they're taking so much time to make a decision. The problems of this club didn't start this season. They have been here for years, and you have all the evidences to back that up. So I don't know why we're wasting so much time to, to decide what is going to happen. But for me, probably, and one, and one thing there is that if they sack the hat maybe on Monday, we'll have another one week of silence before they get a replacement for him. So it's too much time. It's too much, it's too distracting. So I think Eric probably will stay because we have had news that some members of the Union's group, just, um, Jean Claude Blanc, and Berada we are, are all for Tenhag to stay. Why? Um, um, Sir, G, uh, Sir Bryceford, what is, what is his first name? Uh, I've his first name. But Bryceford is the one who wants Tenhag to go. So they are like locking heads together. Don't know what's going to happen. Uh, what, what are they, whatever they're going to decide. But let's see what happens with that. Hopefully he stays and we can jump in straight to ingoings and outgoings. For next season. And that is all for now. Don't forget this that had United one stop for everything. Manchester United. And I will see you all on the next one.